Hello everyone, my name is Jitender Wafna. I am a senior solution architect. In this video, we are going to see how to set up AnyPoint Flex Gateway in the local mode. In last few video, we have seen what is universal API management, how to set up a Flex Gateway in connected mode basically. We have also seen how to manage a API using Flex Gateway in the connected mode. And we now in this particular video, we will focus on how to set up a flex gateway in the local mode, right? So when I say uh, what does a flex gateway in local mode means, like your flex gateway will be not managed or will be not registered in your control plane or in your any point platform control plane. So you will not going to see a flex gateway instance in any point platform, right? So you have to manage a flex gateway on local using a configurations file. We are going to see. So in this video, we will just try to create a flex gateway in local mode. In next video, we will see how to add or how to manage the API using flex gateway in the local mode. Fine. The first step you need to ensure you have a Docker engine running on your machine. So I have already a Docker desktop set up on my windows machine right in images right now you cannot see any images related to the flex gateway so whenever you are setting a flex gateway in a local mode you need to pull a flex gateway image basically so this is the command docker pull mule shop slash flex gateway copy i will open a command prompt and I will just say docker pull mule shop slash flex gateway. It will automatically pull the latest version of the flex gateway image. So I will be just pausing my video because downloading or pulling the image may take some guys. Welcome back. You can see a docker image for flex gateway is successfully downloaded. You can see it here. If you want to see using command. You can say docker images and just say enter so you can say mule shop slash flex gateway the latest image has been downloaded even you can see it on the docker desktop also so you can see on this particular docker desktop a mule shop slash flex gateway image and you can go to also go to mule shop documentation so it will it will show how can you uh, set up a flex gateway image in the linux service or on docker container or kubernetes ingress controller so right now we have used this particular thing install in the docker container so right now we are using the docker to so set up flex gateway in the local mode right the next step so we have completed uh, with the installation of a docker image now we have to register a flex gateway in the local mode so there is a three technique with username and the password with a connected app and with a token either you can use the username any point platform username and password or you can create a connected app and or we can uh, use a token so i feel the connected app is more secure like you don't have to share your username and password so what i will do i will go to any point platform and i will try to create a connected app so for creating the connected app you need to go to the access management under access management you can see a connected app now here you can see a button blue color button and you can click on create app and i will say flex you can give any name uh, local then i will use apt act on its behalf client credential now i need to add some permission just be careful let's see what kind of permission i am adding so here i will say read server i want to give a manage server apart from that i have to give a view organization and also it always good you can give a view environment also then I will say next and you have to select for which business group right now in my any point platform there is a one business group I will just enable it and you have to also say which environment it's sandbox I will say review so you can see it here manage server in the form runtime manager I give access to manage server read server v environment v organization I will say add scope now I will say save once I will say save it will create a connected app you can see your client ID and the client secret here I will copy before copying i want to show you something so you can go to like a with connected app click on connected app and i want to do on the docker engine you can click it here and you can see this particular command here like you know so where you have to pass a client id client secret environment organization and your gateway name right so let's start so 
let me go to any point platform i will copy a client id and i have already copied the command in my notepad plus plus i will just say client id the second step i will copy a client secret i will paste it here then i need environment and the organization id it's very simple to find you can go to api manager even you can find it from access uh, management but from api management you can get it the single view so you can click on this environment information you get an environment name and i get an environment id i will copy this i will paste it here i am just removing the slashes also because we will going to run a command in the windows command prompt right so we have to run this command uh, in the single line basically so i am removing slashes also then you have to give a organization id you can find your business group and this is my business group id this is nothing this is your organization id then i can say some name mule flex gateway i can say local right now in windows command prompt pwd will not work so pwd means like you know current path in this case what i will do i created a folder called uh, like under c user detail flex gateway i will copy this i can remove this dollar pwd if you are doing on linux uh, like you know or cell command prompt you don't have to do that but for windows i am doing it okay again i will remove this slash here i am saying which image you need to put a pick mule mule shop slash flex gateway then register this is the register then i will just bring everything into single line okay let me copy this command okay i copied this command i will go to command prompt and i will run this so it is saying starting registration please be patient so you can see the registration completed the configuration file was written in the directory so it will be create a three file in the uh, flex gateway directory the directory which we have given here so you can see it here we have a three file and the id with guid which you see which is important i will tell you why so right now you can see there is a three file and open one of the file it contains some configuration id you know so some uh, data so that's it so you can see that three id is created now i can say docker ps if there is any container running no containers running so you can see all but you can see the container has been created here but it's not running now second step we have to run the container so you can you can go to here when, once you done the registration you have to start you no know, your docker container so you can see it here this is the command so absolute path you no know, so i have to give this particular path where you know where your three file has been created so give that path i always put double quotes to be on the safer side give that path here also here you can give any port number i will use 8081 then here uuid of your file that is important go to that particular folder and copy this uuid rename copy and i will just say okay and here it will say which image then name of the replica i can say mule replica 1 that you can give any name i will remove all these slashes because i am running in the windows command prompt so there is a no need for that and i will bring everything into a single line okay let me very big command copy this go to your command prompt and just paste it and let's see what happens so it is it will start your you know a flex gateway yeah you can see that your flex gateway here so it is running on port 8081 you can see it here so you can see everything here so now you can see all dependency initiated and start starting workers basically you can see that here right if you want to add more replicas you can easily do that how can you do that basically uh, 
you can use like you know so i can say mule replica 2 and i will just change the port number so it from 8081 to i can say 8082 let, let me go to end just copy this command and just let me open other command prompt enter so yeah, now it should add the second replica you can see all dependency it should have two replicas now both in a start state container you can see both the replicas in the start state even you can use the command called docker ps so you can see both replicas are running basically on port 8082 and 8081 so basically what does this mean so the container like container will get the request on port 8082 and it will redirect your request to the application running on 8082 the request will come on 8081 on container it will redirect your request to 8081 so your application must be running on 8081 like that you know so so you can see like how we can add more and more replicas and you can see this is the good documentation uh, provided by MuleSoft here and it, it is showing like you know how you can set up uh, replicas on uh, Linux server or on docker container or on the Kubernetes in less controller right so this is how you can set up a flex gateway in the local mode it's very simple in next video we are going to see how to manage the API using the flex gateway in the local mode I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please click on like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.